Are you looking for a solid trekking rucksack at a reasonable price? Then the Mountain Warehouse Ventura 40 litre backpack is just the backpack for you. Let's go. What is up long distance hikers and world travelers? Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. What I have here with me on my lap is the Mountain Warehouse 40 litre Ventura backpack. Earlier in the year, my partner Bex and I, we traveled to India and this is the backpack that she used. I haven't actually worn this myself, but I've got this backpack. I think it's really good for hiking as well and for long-term travel, especially if you're looking at traveling light and on a budget. So I thought I'd give you guys my thoughts. The Mountain Warehouse Ventura 40 litre backpack is a really sturdy one. It comes in a range of colours, either black, which is this one, or green or orange. It's made out of nylon with a really strong stitch, but what's really good, even though this isn't waterproof, they've included a rain cover in the bottom pocket, which is very handy. And you know that this rain cover is gonna fit this backpack. We got it in black because we didn't want anything too conspicuous. Because uh, we're traveling to India, we just wanted to uh, be as stealthy as possible between the places that we were gonna stay. Okay, let's talk about some extra features. So, this backpack is hydration compatible, so you can stick a water bladder in there or a camel pack uh, and have the hydration line coming out of here, which is really good. This makes it very good for cyclists or people going out on a one or two day trek. This is a frame backpack and also on the back it has a mesh so that your back can breathe. I've always thought regardless of uh, whether the backpack has this or not, your back's gonna get sweaty anyway, you're gonna perspire, your back's gonna get really soaked, uh, especially on hot days, uh, but it does help a little bit, I've got to admit. It's got some extra padding at the top for a bit of support at the top of your back. If you're used to packing your backpack properly, then this really shouldn't be needed. But for those who are just starting out, especially if you're on a budget, uh, it enables you to pack your backpack in any way, shape or form that you wish without adding some discomfort to the back of the pack. The frame of the backpack is just a plastic insert, so it's uh, a little bit heavier than a wire frame that goes around the edge, uh, but it's okay, it does the job. It has some pretty reasonably sized uh, shoulder straps, so they're good for added comfort. It's got two pretty big hip belt pockets, both of which have a zipper, so you can put your phone in there, you can put your keys in there, anything that you need to hand. I wouldn't say you'd be able to fit an iPhone 8 Plus into these uh, hip belt pockets, uh, but they're pretty amply sized. It's got plenty of straps all over the shoulder straps so you can put carabiners and tie things to it. Uh, you can add extra pockets to put your snacks in and things like that, so that's pretty handy as well. It's got compression straps on either side of the backpack. It's got load lifting straps on both of the shoulder straps so you can pull the weight of the backpack closer to your torso. Even though this is a pretty small backpack, it's very worthy of holding some hefty loads. However, on their website, at mountainwarehouse.com, uh, they don't actually state the maximum load capacity of this pack. Along with the load lifters, along with the very generously sized hip belt, I'm pretty confident that you'd be able to carry about 30 to 35 pounds in this very comfortably. Bex was, of course, carrying a few extra items than myself. Uh, she said the pack was pretty comfortable, except uh, the corners of the hip belts were kind of digging into her just a little bit. The Ventura 40 litre backpack comes with a brain lid on top and it also has a zippy pocket here on the top as well for extra storage. It's also got a zippy pocket on the inside of the brain lid. The brain lid is fastened to the main body with these two plastic side release buckle clips. It's got a very large front pocket here, which has a really long zip so you can just stuff things in. I'm used to my HMG 2400 and that's got a really big kind of mesh pocket on the back so it's even easier. But I like that they've given you this extra storage as well as the main compartment. Moving down the backpack as well as the main compartment and the front zippy pocket, there is also a bottom compartment which is completely separated from the main compartment with a thin layer of fabric. This is handy for the traveler and the hiker who wants to compartmentalize all of their stuff uh, into different places of their pack. So that's another good reason why it's good for beginners. It's got two side pockets on either side, which is good for carrying your water and snacks and other things. And lastly, it's got tons of straps and things dangling from it if you want to attach lots of stuff to your pack on the outside. Okay, folks, now we've gone over some of the features and the specs of this backpack. Uh, I'd really like to talk about some of the things that I really liked and of course the things that I didn't like so much. Okay, the first thing that I absolutely love about this pack is the fact that it's so cheap. It's one of the cheapest backpacks that I've come across and for Mountain Warehouse, this is a very good quality backpack for that price. I really like the versatility of this pack and the fact that it's great for beginners. 
And I'm a really big fan of these huge hip belts with really good sized pockets on them. A lot of backpacks out there don't come with pockets this big on the hip belts. Um, so this is a really good feature uh, for a backpack this price. Another really good feature about this pack is that the sternum strap is actually removable and you can change the height of it and add it to these loops on the uh, ends of the shoulder straps. What's really good about that feature is that this backpack is very good for both male and female travellers who need the added comfort. It's also got two really large zippy pockets on either side, right there and right there as well, going all the way down the length of the backpack, which is another good way to compartmentalise all of your things. Looking inside the backpack now, the inside of the lid is fastened down with a strap and a little uh, toggle thing on here, so you can just pull it tight and then pull the toggle down and you're good to go. Inside the backpack you've got this really large main compartment and you've got a uh, nylon pocket on the inside for putting your water bladder or anything else that you wish to put in there. So uh, all around the storage on this backpack is absolutely insane. You've got tons of versatility and a lot of options for you. And the final thing that I really love about this backpack, uh, and I mentioned it before, even though this isn't a waterproof material, I love that they've included a rain cover as standard. What's good about this is that once you've bought this you don't have to worry about getting a rain cover that's the right size. Uh, it's in a really modest grey colour that's going to match the colour of the backpack so that's really nice and I love that it tucks away in this really neat little pocket on the bottom of the pack. Another thing that I really like about this pack is that the stitching on it is incredibly high quality. It's very strong and uh, you just know that this backpack is going to last a very long time. There's different stitching sizes and weights and stitch patterns all around the pack so they've really considered in the design how they're going to build this thing and where all the load and all the weight is going to be distributed. So of course along the top of the straps you've got a really thick uh, consistent stitch length uh, and weight along the top here and then on the front where you need a little bit more flexibility they've used the thinner stitch so they've really taken that into consideration. Okay now we've talked about a lot of the things that I really like about this pack let's go over some of the things that I didn't like so much. I absolutely hate when backpacks have all of these huge ridiculously oversized uh, straps and little dangly things on them you just don't need this and if you're concerned about saving weight uh, it's worth just chopping these off. I just wish backpack companies wouldn't even bother with the amount of strapping that they put on there. One, they'll save materials, two, they'll save weight, and three, they'll cut down on the cost of the pack as well. I know that when this backpack is fully loaded, Bex didn't even use half of the length of these ridiculously oversized straps. It's a bit crazy how long they are. Another thing that I really don't like about this pack, and for me, I'm an ultralight backpacker and I like my gear, especially my backpack, to be as light as possible. Uh, but this is at 1.2 kilos, but for this price you can't really complain. Another thing that I didn't like about this pack is that the zips are very difficult to undo. I mean, they just get stuck when you're trying to open them. Um, they're not very easily accessible while you're walking. You have to take this pack off if you want to get something out. It's quite handy that they've got all of these loops here to tie things on the outside, but even then it's a bit of a job even to get your hand all the way around the back. Another feature about this pack that I'm not too keen on is the brain closing lid. Um, it adds a bit more versatility with an extra pocket in the top, but it's uh, much more difficult to keep your contents dry if it starts raining and you haven't got the uh, rain cover on. It adds extra weight to the backpack and it's not as easy to compress everything down in the pack. Uh, whereas my HMG uh, it has a roll down top and you can really compress everything down just like a giant dry bag. I just wish more companies like this were making packs with a roll down top instead. One more thing to note about the different compartments in this pack is it makes it a lot more difficult to pack your bag if you're going for a very long trek. So uh, in order to keep your sleeping bag inside your pack you're going to have to find one that fits in this bottom compartment here or one that's small enough to fit in the main compartment and fit everything else that you want in there. It makes it easier for a novice but for the expert who knows how to pack their backpack uh, I wouldn't recommend this just because uh, that will actually stop you from packing your bag properly. So a few things to consider there with this backpack however again for this price point you are getting a lot of bang for your buck. Okay guys, campfire question. What is the cheapest backpack that you own and why? Let us know in the comment section below. The Trail Hunter community would love to know. Okay folks, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up. Be sure to watch both of the videos to my side here. And of course, do consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.